Stream Elements said. Mocklin Talk is now live. Streaming Halls of Torment, I'm a Diablo survivor why is this game so hot? Slash slash, Discord, Social. Necromore said hello Mocklin talk said impressive Mocklin talk said McLean one hello one McLean one hello one McLean one hello one Blazing Necromorph said, Nine days till season one for Diablo.
McClintock said, Oh yes. Blazing that Chromework said, This game looks quite exciting. McLean talk said McLean one laugh one McLean talk said here we go Here we go. Good evening. Happy Tuesday night. Oh my god, what happened to my uh There's a blank box in the corner. But first off, hello Lazy, hello Rip Van Winkle. Thank you guys for hopping in. No problem, Rip. Would love to hang and stream, but need to sleep. Hope stream treats you well, Mac, and stay up chatters. Hope we all have a great night. Hey, thank you so much for the um, warm and uh, considerate send off, Rip Van. Uh, get yourself some a beauty sleep. Take care of yourself. Sweet dreams, my friend. And uh, I do want to say congrats, to Lazy, for nabbing the first for tonight. First king. First king is Lazy. You will be here in our hearts. So first, so easy, eh, Derek? Give me a moment, guys. I want to see if I can get the uh, the box in the corner to not be so blank. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, that's one thing I forgot to do. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes. No problem, Rip. Once again, sweet dreams. Take care. Good night, Derek. Derek says, yo, night night rip. First in honor of Dirk, who I transferred the mantle to. Oh, well, so kind of you, Lazy. What a gentleman. Is, isn't he a gentleman, folks? I shall not forget this day. But, you know, it's actually redundant because Derek is is actually first, right? So there's no point giving the first prize to someone who's already claimed it, right? Mm -hmm. How's it going, guys? Welcome in, welcome to the stream. Uh, the date is Tuesday, July 11th. The week is going slow. And we're streaming a new game tonight. Could be a one-off, could be the beginning of a beautiful relationship that is yet to be decided. Well, I've sort of decided that I'm going to be playing this game for a bit, but the, the jury is out on whether I'm going to stream this a whole bunch or not, right? Anything for the man who saved my life. This just in. Derek saved Lazy Necromore's life. Film at 11. So, Halls of Torment, uh, the game is uh, popping off slightly. I think only in the last week or so, uh, this thing's been taken, taken off somewhat. I had no idea what this game was. I just heard it referenced almost offhand, cheekily, you might say. 
uh, on the Diablo subreddit. You know, amongst all the, you know, it's, it's couched within a post uh, of complaining about something in Diablo 4. You know, Diablo 4, there's a lot of complaining going on on the Diablo subreddit. It's no surprise there. And uh, kind of like tucked away in somebody's comment, they reference this game. I was like, ooh, what's this? People are playing some other game that's like Diablo. Uh, and so uh, I quickly tracked it down on Steam. I was like, hey, this looks quite a bit like Vampire Survivors, but graphics are a little bit more updated. They kind of like entered the 16-bit era. It's reminiscent of definitely, you know, definitely reminiscent of Diablo and Diablo 2. And uh, sure enough, uh, I started to see all these videos being posted by Asmongold. He's he's all all up in this game. Um, somebody I was watching yesterday, Ruricon, Ruricon is that his name? Anyway, uh, a YouTube streamer he seems to be really uh, fond of this game as well. Uh, I started playing it on Sunday. Yeah, I picked it up on Sunday. And uh, only put in maybe uh, half an hour or so, but it immediately struck me that yes, this is very much Vampire Survivors. They tweaked a couple of things. It's more the Vampire Survivors in the Diablo sort of aesthetic, and maybe right now a little feature thin compared to Vampire Survivors, but. It's got all the trappings of that style of game. Uh, however, there's more uh, direct input, so it's a little bit more actiony. Uh, feel is definitely feels more like a twin stick shooter in that in that you actually have to aim your your main attacks, uh, but they still have automatic uh, attacks. So it's like kind of like a mix of both. And if you wish, you can even manually do your attacks. I tried that first and I, did, I quickly realized that, well, there isn't really a scenario where you want to stop attacking. So you can uh, toggle on automatic, you know, auto attacks, which, which, I, which I do now. That's pretty much the way to go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll be jumping into the, uh, this game in just a moment. Just a moment. It, so far, it's pretty good. I will say it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, Lazy, you did reference nine more days to go until uh, Diablo 4 Season 1. It's very exciting. I told myself that I was, was going to cool off on playing Diablo 4. Just save myself for the first season. But sure enough, I mean, last night I put in a bunch of time. Over the weekend I also played. Um, kind of... Um, I am kind of plateauing on my rogue. Uh, I think I hit level 61 last night. And uh, I was trying to do like the... I think I'm just not doing the high enough tiers of Nightmare Dungeons. Because they're just really easy still. I did like a tier 10 one last night. It was pretty easy still. And... Um, that's pretty much all I have any interest in doing to be honest like I did I remember doing a couple hell ties and legion events over the weekend and they were like didn't give me anything good there is a max level it's 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 2000 yeah lazy lazy's got it so there's a lot of there's a lot of play value in this game since I only hit level 61 I've been playing for a month <laughs> <laughs> uh, level 100 is the cap, Derek, and uh, I'm probably not going to hit level 100 with any of my characters. I keep telling myself when season 1 starts, I'll play a whole bunch of that until I burn out, and then I'll go back to my uh, Eternal Realm character, that's like your non-seasonal character. And I'll keep plugging away at it. But it is so slow. The leveling is, is really, really slow. And there is definitely... Uh, 
a lack of things to do. Um, the way it's structured now, or the way a lot of these uh, action role-playing games are structured is that you can hit level cap relatively quickly, and then once you're kind of like at max level, and then the end game begins. But here, there's a soft level cap of uh, level 50. <clears throat> and it could even be sooner, one could argue, because after you finish the campaign, most people are in the, in the low 40s to mid 40s. <clears throat> and then you start grinding away at all the uh, post-campaign stuff. But that stuff never really changes. So they, they are kind of in this weird spot where uh, <clears throat> like the gear that you're getting. Like you can actually get like a really good piece of gear or a weapon and it can last you for several levels. So you never have to replace it. So right now I've been using like the same two rings, uh, the same like main weapons and nothing that's dropping is even remotely better. And uh, anytime I do a dungeon or complete a world event or something, they just drop stuff that's so much like the level is so much lower than mine. <clears throat> I got like a frog in my throat all of a sudden. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> oh, too much phlegm, I think. They need to add fishing and let me farm XP off that. Yeah, yeah, the, anything. I think because of the nature of the game, it's like it's all about killing. That's all you can do. You can kill things. You can activate statues and open chests. You can talk to NPCs in town. That's that's pretty much the breadth of like the stuff you can do in Diablo. Hey, no baron, welcome in. I came to say hi for a bit before bed. Gym tomorrow and Luffy's checkup. Oh, nice. I do remember you mentioned you you were working out now, which is great to hear. No problem. But yeah, thank you for dropping by and saying hello. If you can't stay for a bit, no worries. And uh, yeah, I hope the gym goes well tomorrow and I hope uh, Luffy's checkup is fine. Like, does Luffy like going to the vet? Most animals do not. Most pets do not like going to the vet. Anyway, I start going on a Diablo 4 Tangent. It's almost like I was reenacting the uh, Diablo subreddit for, for like five minutes there. Anyway, <clears throat> I did start to play around with some other characters. I played a bit of Barbarian again. I played the Druid. I'm trying to decide who I want to just like tinker with for the next nine days until the uh, season kicks off. But uh, yeah, I think that's the best thing that you can do. If you get kind of bored of Diablo 4, just spin up a new character. It's kind of fresh again. And you're actually going to get that dopamine hit of uh, more powerful things dropping for you. You can actually equip new things at a, on a regular basis instead of plateauing <laughs> where a lot of people are at, it seems. He hates it. When he sees the cage, he runs. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's smart. Yeah. Animals, they learned very quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Rikyo. There, there he is. There's the man. There's the man you've been waiting for. <laughs> hi, hi, howdy. How you doing, Rikyo? Um, for for funsies, I I did fire up uh, Diablo three for a bit over the weekend, and I uh, I started a, a seasonal crusader, and and did one round of bounties. Yeah, there's something to be said about the simplicity or like the 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 structure of Diablo three. It still works, and the the combat there still feels really good. And 
uh, yeah, I mean, I wish they had a Crusader or Paladin class for Diablo 4. Hopefully in, in the expansion, they'll, they'll add some uh, heavily armored uh, shield bro to kind of fill in that hole in their roster. Rico says, I am sore as hell. Were you at, uh, were you pumping, pumping weights at the gym, Rico? Our old vet retired. Luffy had her since he was a baby. So you let her touch him, etc. This new vet, he growls and bites. Oh no. Well, it's hard to explain to Luffy that the, the vet retired. How do you explain that? <clears throat> Has the new vet tried to uh, win his favor? Bribes, you know? <laughs> Just give us a 40k Space Marine as a class. That'd be, that'd be wicked, eh, Lazy? Although now, now, now you're just putting me in a spot where I just say, "Oh, just play Inquisitor Martyr," right? Which is basically Warhammer 40k meets Diablo. And I, I've been thinking about picking up the Battle Sister DLC for that game, but I, I tell myself I, can't, I just can't. I just can't. I just stick to stick to a couple games if you can. Don't don't spread yourself thin like you always do. No problem says I told him to use bribes like treats. We will see. Yeah, yeah, we will see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the new vet wins him over. You know, for the sake of the you know future relationship, and uh, you know for for there to be less stress when it's time to take Luffy for a visit, right? BQ, indeed I did. Oh, nice, nice. How much do you branch? How much do you bench, bro? <laughs> How much do you branch? <laughs> Brunch is when you're, you're taking brunch at the gym. Bench pressing and having brunch. Uh, I don't blame Luffy. If a stranger was touching him, I'd bite too. Do you English? No. No. <laughs> it, isn't it obvious? Um, bada bing. All right, let's let's get the game on. Let's get the game on. I got Diablo one, the first one, working on my three D three DS. Is that even possible? God damn. Diablo 1 is still really good. I went back to play the GOG version sometime last year. The big downer on that thing is you have to click for every single attack. You know, post Diablo 1, every ARPG has allowed you to hold down the button to continuously attack. <laughs> well, Diablo 1, every single attack requires a click. So I was like, God damn, my index finger is just wasted after playing for like, you know, half an hour or something. Yes, with homebrew. You gotta love that stuff. I never got into any homebrew with my portable devices. I mean, granted, I haven't owned a lot of portable consoles, I think. I think 3DS is the only one I have. Not even. I just have the DS, the regular DS. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe one of these days I'll pick up a Steam Deck. I'm in no rush though. Okay, let's turn the uh, master volume back up. Let's keep it here. Holes of Torment is only three bucks. Did it get cheaper? I just got this a couple days ago and it was five bucks after the discount. 
I think regular price is like six dollars and change Canadian. I find it hard to believe they've dropped the price even more in the middle of the sale. If they did, I want a price match. <laughs> Just haggling over a couple bucks. Lazy, my dumbass doing that in Diablo 4. What is your dumbass doing, Lazy? You're not dumb, by the way. My bad, five something, but still. Yeah, it's dirt cheap. Um, and if you still wanna test the waters and you're not ready to, to drop the big $5 on a game like this, they do have sort of like a demo. It's called the Halls of Torment Prelude. I didn't actually try that. I just jumped in feet first and just got the whole game. But I think it's just a slightly stripped down version. You may only have to, you might only be able to play one or two classes. Maybe there's only one stage, who knows? But yeah, you can try it out if you wish. Um, so I'm just gonna get into it. Uh, there's not too much explained to do. I think I already explained a fair bit at the top of the, top of the stream. I'm gonna uh, keep going with the Swordsman. I've done the best with the Swordsman, which is the starter class. Uh, but uh, so far I've unlocked the Archer, the Cleric, and this is the new guy, Exterminator. Uh, he's busy a guy with a, a flamethrower. It's kind of out of theme for, for this uh, game in a way. You just bought it? Nice. I would stream D4 with you, but it lags when I stream that. So, oh man, it sucks. Yeah, I want to ask you. Well, I think I don't know if you told me, but you know what? Uh, what class are you maining in D4? Apologies if I've asked you. If you told me already, but I don't think I ever asked you. But yeah, it sucks that uh, it's lagging. Do you do you have the PC version? But perchance. Uh, Lazy says level one to fifty, one to five. I was clicking for all my attacks until I had an epiphany that I could just hold the button. Oh shit! You've been clicking for each attack in level four. Oh, oh no. That was oh, just for the just for the early levels though. Okay, okay. It's okay. You're old. Your mind is going. Necromaster, necromancer. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I am. My mind is going. Um, soon I will turn to mush and I'll pass away. So I may as well say my goodbyes to you now, guys. Farewell. I would no longer recognize any any of you. Actually, this does not does not joking matter. <laughs> Let's joke about Alzheimer's. No. Um, so yeah, we have Shrine of Blessings, which you just get permanent upgrades for all your characters. And the cool thing is you can respec for free at any time. Uh, no, no, no cost involved. So yeah, that's a really cool thing. And not like Vampire Survivors where everything's locked in and extremely expensive. Cause they have like way more, uh, way more different bonuses with more levels attached to them. Um, and I recently saved the, this guy, the well master, or well keeper, from the second stage. And what he allows you to do is you can now equip loot that you find on each of your runs. Uh, you'll fight mini bosses in each of the stages. And when you beat them, they'll drop a random piece of loot. I believe you get to keep some of it. Because I feel like I've beaten many more bosses than what the items I have now. Right now it shows I have six items, but I'm pretty sure I got a whole lot more than that. So I'm not sure what the system is for what they allow you to keep between runs. But yeah, this is like, I think a key differentiator between this and Vampire Survivors that you actually have uh, loadouts and gear, which is cool. I have been playing a Diablo clone on the 3DS. What is the Diablo cl clone called? I will spread your legacy. Well, thank you, Lazy. Spread the word. And also tell people to praise Lobster. 
Register of Halls. What does this do? Oh, yes. This is a... Uh, you're just choosing your stage. But you can also choose your stage when you walk through these giant doors. Uh, I'm going to try Haunted Caverns again. That's the first stage. I have gone to the end of this stage twice. But there's an end boss that keeps kicking my ass. So I'm going to keep going at it until I beat him. And I had the best so far with Swordsman. So I'll keep going on Swordsman. Uh, here is a ruin. Okay, I have to look that up. Is it only on 3DS? Is there maybe like a PC version I could check out? Is any good? Here is a ruin. Okay, so here we are. Auto attacking, because, you know, I learned my lesson. All right. And just like Vampire Survivors, every time you level up, you get presented with uh, different uh, upgrades, randomized. So, there's not like the best spread of stuff. Um, but I think movement speed, I tend to go for later on in the run. And I try to invest in power in the beginning. But there's no power. So I'm going to go for uh, area cone size. Since that seems to work pretty well with the uh, swordsman. You can see he doesn't have a lot of range. But that cone of his attack can get pretty fat. If you if you want it to be. You can increase the girth of your, of your sword cone. By quite a bit. Okay, so I'll go for crit damage bonus. Ruthless. Ruthless. As far as I know, only 3DS. Awoo, oh, Mac, hello! Hello, Argentum Wolf, how are you doing? Welcome in. Awoo oh, to you. Yeah, we're playing something a little different tonight. Halls of Torment. It's the hot new it game of the internet. Personally endorsed by Asmongold. Uh, we are going to, what, what is with the, what are, what are with the, uh, power-ups? Nothing, nothing for, uh, power. Uh, I'm gonna go for defense then. Invest in some defense then. That's, they're gonna play it like this. So my attacks are pretty quick because I invested back at the home base. I maxed up my attack speed. Did I max my attack speed? I think I did. Have a blade that can just hit with HR for a job. I'm. Oh, pardon me. Have a blade that can just hit in a 360. I like combine the two comments. My my eyes got crossed or something. Arjun the Wolf. I'm preparing for a meeting with HR for a job. I wish you luck and give my energy to you, Wolf. This seems like a mix of Diablo, but it's just ways of enemies. For sure, I done Wolf. Good luck on the interview. Uh, so I guess if you're meeting with HR, this is the first like the screener that you're doing, and you might have a couple more interviews after the, after this if it goes well. But uh, in any case, best of luck to you. Remember, your greatest weakness is that you work too hard. And uh, yeah, Nobron, this is very much uh, like Vampire Survivors with a Diablo skin on it. Oh, attack speed is, is yeah, I like getting attack speed for sure. There's nothing worse than like a giant mob on your ass like later in the round and your guy is simply not attacking quickly enough and hard enough. Well, now we're cooking. Oh, we got a crit chance and block strength combo. These, these combo upgrades, these stanzas are, are pretty good. But we also have uh, proficiency, which is more range and more cone width. I'm actually going to 
go for proficiency because there's going to be a standalone upgrade for just crit, but that applies to everything, not just your main weapon attacks. And I prefer to get that. But yeah, I, I was talking about how you can increase the girth of your sword. So I want to try and uh, try and do that on this run. Well, I'm just mowing these guys down. I think I maxed out damage back at the base, back at the shrine. Yeah, because they normally do not just die in one hit like this. Uh, okay, boring, a defensive. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, cutting technique one, 5% base critical hit chance. This applies to everything. And uh, later on, the, you will get a chance to pick up uh, special skills that basically are additional attacks that just fire off automatically. Like, you don't even have to aim them. They just auto-aim as well. So you, those will do extra crit damage, or extra crits, I should say. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go towards the bucket icon. Down this way. So... Oh, what's this? This tower. Oh, dried up well. Okay, this has to do with the well keeper. This is the first time I uh, found something like this. Leave one item here and retrieve it to the surface. Retrieve items can be bought and equipped for all future runs. Bought items cannot be lost. So, these I already own. These are the things I originally picked up in the well back at base, or from the chest, I should say. So, if I die on this run, does that mean I lose these items? Oh, that's why I'm attacking so quickly, because of these gloves. Of course, of course. Yeah, the first time I was playing with all this uh, gear equipped. That's, that's why I'm not used to it. Yeah, just to HR this round. Nice, nice. Yeah, they just want to find out that, you know, every, you know, generally, that you're not, you're not weird, and... Uh, the things you said on your resume are, are reasonably true. So they're just doing a, a, a quick uh, a quick check on you. But good luck. He said PP. Grid's weakness is your PP too big. Too big. <laughs> Mac knows the secrets of increasing your sword's growth. Yes, yeah, indeed. Get huge. Um... Well, we'll see. I have a feeling after you die, then you just lose the gear unless you ditch it in the well. But then why do you just bother bringing it with you if you're just going to ditch it in the well? So I'm going to leave it alone for now. Uh, I'll, I'll find out how it actually works through trial and error, I suppose. Oh, here's a mini boss. He's going to follow me until I kill him. Oh, shit. So that well was the um thing that i just had so i'm gonna go towards the uh, parchment in the in the corner there yeah, we'll see so you can break these fire barrels and enemies can walk into it and get get hurt classic slime enemies what do you expect Oh, that was a mistake. The things that look like carrots, you think they give you health, but they do not. Got swole with the pole. <laughs> um, so they give me the same one again. Pick a range is like the speed. I like to maybe get it later on if there's nothing else to get. But I'll just work on my defense. I should really work on some uh, health regen as well. That that can be useful. See these guys follow me? I just bust up the fire. I'll walk through the fire of boss Matt. Yeah, see he got he got so hurt from the fire. What a dumbass. I can finish him off pretty quickly now. I might just do that so I can just get his loot. 
but go for it. Okay, so it's called Mastery, choose an ability. Astrama's Orb is like it's like the Holy Bible from Va Vampire Survivors. It's like these things that just orbit around you and hurt enemies. Phantom Needles, um, they just fire, randomly fire in, in a random direction. I, I tend to like this. Lightning Strike is exactly like Lightning Strike in Vampire Survivors. There's a lot of, you know, similarities between the two games. You can say they were definitely inspired by Vampire Survivors. I'm gonna go va Phantom Needles. Oh shit, shit, shit. Because once you upgrade the Phantom Needles, I think they're quite... Actually, I was thinking about something else. Phantom Needles are not bad. They're not bad. Oh, you hear finally. Took like eight levels to get a strength upgrade. Definitely gonna go for a strength. Now we keep making our way towards the, um, the scroll. Uh, they try to box you in now, but I'm just like whooping some ass. I, I do not know what the carrots do. Be honest. No, bro. I don't think this is co-op. But you never know. It. That's something that could be on the uh, the developer's roadmap. But that would be very cool if it is. Eh? A game like this. Yeah, they and they just amp up the difficulty to to a crazy degree. If this is co-op, just fill the enemy with monsters. Not like they don't already do that, but you know what I mean. So we'll keep uh, going into the collateral damage to increase the uh, girth of my sword, sword swing. Size does matter. Yeah, at first, um, you know, the very first time I played this, you only had the Swordsman. And I saw his attack, I was like, ugh, it's such a short range. This is not gonna end well. And sure enough, you know, I didn't, I didn't last that long. <laughs> I didn't last that long with my small Wee Wee on my, on my first run, but, um, it actually is actually not too bad. And you like I said, you can increase the size. <laughs> and it's so much better. It's so much better. More strength. Increase the power of your wang. See look, they fall before my mighty my mighty sword. Giggity. Indeed. Behold. My Schwartz is so big. Okay, right, we get a chance to upgrade Phantom Needles. Uh, plus 0.2 base crit damage sounds pretty stingy. I agree. But let's just do base crit of a hit chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not quite sure what the secret is to beating the end boss of this level. Oh shit. Where the hell you come from? Um, I might just get the astronomer's orbs again, but I think I already got the uh, quest achievement for the astronomer's orbs. So I want to maybe get the ones for ring blades next. Okay, let's try ring blades. Hope I don't regret that decision. Okay, there's like two bosses at the same time. What is this junk? That is crazy. Cheats, <laughs> dirty cheats. That's another different thing uh, for this game versus Vampire Survivors is that you get uh, boss fights in the middle of the uh, level, and then they actually have attack patterns that you have to avoid, things like that. So it's yeah, it's definitely more arcadey than Vampire Survivors. It's like it's like Diablo, like I kept saying. 
an arcade Diablo. Like, maybe like Gauntlet, if you guys remember Gauntlet from the arcades. I love the Gauntlet back in the day. The, the reboot they did for PC and console several years back, I did not like that one very much. I don't know how they messed that up, but it's not not that good. It's one of the guys who did uh, Hell Divers, right? Lazy says, turning your Vienna sausage into a full-blown <laughs> chub. <laughs> That's one way to put it. That's one way to put it. So I can get a helmet or uh, what is this? This is new. So now these are retrieved. Every five seconds, you summon an imp to fight by your side. They will be gone after a set time, which can be extended. You can handle five summons. Ooh, this is this is new and exciting. I'm getting I'm getting the demonic bond. This looks like a ring. Here we go. And I just leveled up. Ring blades ripping. Oh, that's a pretty good bump for crit chance and cone size. Oh, here's my regen. Right, let's, let's upgrade the ring blades first. Let's use it to take out this boss. Take him out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no item. He just drops money. Big pots of gold. That's fine. Oh, my imps are doing work. Look at them go. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah. So, um... Ch what's channeling do? Applies to the main character and all abilities if possible. Affects the duration of the abilities and or summonings, but not effects. Oh, it helps my imps, doesn't it? Huh. I should just get that then. That's dope. That's dope. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh, Phantom Neos, I can improve the attack speed. Oh, this is a good, this is a good level up, but there's almost too many options now because these three, I'm trying to decide. Mmm. Maybe Ruthlessness, too. Noparon says, I bought Vampire Survivors Game Plus DLC Bundle. Oh, nice, nice. How do you like it? Um, which reminds me, I also got the DLC for Vampire Survivors and proceeded to not play it. Go figure. I should really get back on that, but this game has my attention right now. Uh, I do like, I do prefer this mode in Vampire Survivors. Despite having put quite a bit of time into Vampire Survivors, I like the direct control that you have. You have the kind of more agency as you're playing instead of just moving the guy around. This one you actually control where you attack, which makes a big deal, it makes a big difference. Uh, quick hands, yeah. Quick hands, McGee. I sometimes think my imps are enemies. I get a little scared. Guys with shields suck. They take one extra hit to take out. And you think that's like no big deal, but it's actually... Actually, I need to move the other... The, the, my mouse cursor was hovering on the uh, Ripping Blades description, which was... Oh, the, the wizards are here. I hate the wizards. You'll see why soon. Woo! I was able to cut a path through that wall pretty quickly. Coming through! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back up, actually, to get the, uh, the hand upgrade. Is essentially the uh, vacuum effect that you get in Vampire Survivors. God, this game is such a ripoff of Vampire Survivors. <laughs> this is not even funny. 
But you know, they added enough of their own spin. So it's not, it's not a total palette swap, rip job. Oh shit, now I'm getting hurt a little bit. I just bought it. Oh, you just bought this game too? No problem? Damn. I should get a commission or something. Howdy, howdy, let's get rowdy. Hey, mullet. How you doing? Welcome in. Very good to see you. What's what's new and exciting, mullet? No Dark Souls tonight, as you can see. Uh, a new game called Halls of Torment. It's the new craze that's sweeping the nation. Uh, I'm going to go attack speed on the Phantom Needles. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm just going to go for the hand. Because yeah, I'm not concerned about picking up any of the orbs from, from the dead enemies. I mean, you need the orbs to level up. But since I'm going to be vacuuming up every single orb that has dropped, it's gonna be no problemo. Leave some fire for people to enjoy. I hate these wizards, because they're pretty accurate with their uh, fireballs. Break some more barrels. Go imps, go! This, this imp is just waking out, doing nothing. Give it a quick pause here. So yeah, no problem. You just bought you just bought all the big, big expensive games: <laughs> Vampire Survivors and uh, Halls of Torment. Mullet, have you fired up Sekiro yet, or nah? Good question, Derek. Joking, no pressure. I'm doing well, just working. Says Mullet. Hey, Winnie, welcome in. I just saw you pop up in chat. I'm at work as well. Everyone's at work. No Sekiro yet. I'm worried to install it to find out my computer can't stream and play it. Ooh, that, that is a concern. Uh, Sekiro is not too hard on the uh, PC requirements, I think. I mean, it's, it's kind of getting old at this point. So hopefully, hopefully it's okay, Mullet. Would love to see you stream it. So yeah. Hope you can try it out soon. No pressure though. <laughs> That's fair. When he says this game looks like it's from a CD-ROM. Hey, it is retro, Winnie. It is retro. Straight out of 1999. It's from 1999. No way. No, I'm kidding. Winnie, this uh, this is actually a new game. From uh, from an indie studio. I don't remember the name of the studio. But it's the little studio that could. It's only like three people working at this company, and they made a game that's very much like Vampire Survivors. But the graphics, instead of being from the 80s, they're more like, yeah, like from the mid to late 90s. And the gameplay is slightly different. But I I've been comparing this with Vampire Survivors all night so far because it's so similar. It's just so similar. Fuck these wizards. Die. Break some crates. Oh, it's a little mini boss dude. I, I don't like this guy. Big ass shield. But let's keep the eye on the prize and keep going towards the hand power up. That's gonna take us to the promised land. Oh, I think we're almost there. Oh shit, I have to kind of take a little detour. Oh, oh, too many guys in my way. Get out of here. Some of this? You want some of this? Oh my my imps are doing work now. I like it. Oh, shit. Sheesh. We do love a Cinderella story. It's good to root for the little guy, right? Oh I got hit by a fireball or something? That's why I hit these wizards. Let's kill some more wizards. There we go. 
Oh, a good wizard is a dead wizard. Oh, shit. There we go. We got a new ability. Now, this is the one I like. Transfiction. It's basically like the phantom needles, but better, I find. Fires projectiles in the direction you're facing. Damage is reduced for every hit enemy. Chance to apply fragile effect. What is the fragile effect? For each stack of fragile increases the damage taken from direct attacks by 10%. Yes, transfiction is good. I like it. Yeah, my imps keep freaking me out. I can't get over it. Oh shit, the hellhounds. These, these guys are the worst. I hate these guys. Yeah, it's time to get the weapon proficiency, I think. Level two. I don't like the noise they make. Uh, these hellhounds like. Mah, 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 they don't even sound like real dogs. Have some transfiction, bitches. Get transfixed. Oh, the the green blobs. Suck. Okay, here we go. Come to me, come to me, orbs. Watch me level up like five or six times in a row now. Period. Sekiro uses a 12 year old engine. We do love a Cinderella story. Um, 12 year. So, Sekiro, I imagine, is using whatever engine that the original Dark Souls is using, right? So, yeah, that's not too surprising. Phantom needles, upgrades. Yeah, this is a good spread. Correct. A. From Software doesn't doesn't strike me as a company that tries to uh, reinvent their tech too much. They're not they're not a tech. They're not a techie company like like an id software or something or or a Crytek. If they got something that works, they just keep using it. They just grind that thing into the ground. Same as Elden Ring. Yeah, they they, they must have modded the modded and upgrade the crap out of their engine for Elden Ring though. Mullet says I stream from a laptop though, so I don't have heaps of computer power. Hey! I stream from a laptop as well, Mullet. It can be done. Stranger things can happen. I, I stream off a laptop and I use the barest basic like high speed internet. Um and yeah, do you, if you believe it or not, I, I get less than eight megabits per second uh, upstream with my uh, with my service provider. And uh, yeah, my, my streams are still OK. In terms of just like not too many drop frames, you know, general smoothness. Dang, well, you have given me faith. Yes. Yes, yes. Don't let that deter you, mullet. Laptops have come a long way in the last decade or so. They pack a lot of power now. Nope, no differences. They were worried people would be upset by this, but instead it may give of the year. They didn't really do anything to upgrade their engine, did they? Oh, wow, that's amazing. It's crazy. I mean, I think it still runs, like fairly well they, they have some problems still on pc that they've managed to patch out since but yeah i mean it's not like i mean elder ring is a beautiful game so yeah it's amazing what they did with that engine definitely okay i gotta upgrade my ring blades yeah i think ring blades is the way to go Oh yeah, I'm still leveling up like crazy. Uh, let's go for crit chance. And I level up again. Um, uh, let's, let's boost up the phantom needles. Kill some more dogs.
collateral damage. I will pick Swift Feet soon. I'm just not ready for a movement boost just yet. I don't really need it. It's because I'm killing things quickly enough. I don't need to run away so much. Should I just get Metabolism now? Yeah, I think let's get Metabolism. This is the strong version. 0 .0 0 0.2. <laughs> I'm still leveling up. Uh, okay, all these are just things I haven't picked previously. Um, I guess I'll go for, for, for Proficient Stance 1. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Still, still going. Transfection spread. Go for a little bit more regen. I don't want to be, if I get hurt, I don't want to be reliant on having to crack barrels open to get the uh, health potions, which, which is random. You may not get it. Okay, uh, big damage boost to Phantom Needle, so I'm gonna go for this. Okay, it stopped. The vacuuming stopped, unfortunately. And now the enemies are pissed. I'm gonna circle back and get some of the big, big upgrades here. Big orbs. Uh huh. Same as Bethesda, using the same engine since Oblivion. Yeah, Bethesda is also infamous for not changing their engine. Though I, I would put more trust, I would just automatically put more trust in FromSauce engine over Creation. But, you know, Creation has proven itself. For sure. I mean, how long have they been using it? 20 years. So. Crit damage? Let's just go for the easy. Easy one, crit damage here. There's nothing else for me to um, go for in terms of uh, objectives on this map, so it's just about surviving now. These hellhounds, terrible. I gotta circle back again. Oh shit, there. Thick. It's thick of hellhounds here. Taste my wang. Oh, no, they. Oh, boss. Boss guy coming. <sighs> oh, multi hit. I like getting the multi-hit when it does come up. It's, it's not the most common. I don't like this boss. They pair this boss with the uh, the skeletons that rush you and the, and the wizards. It's just a really bad combination. But yeah, I'm doing some uh, decent damage on the boyo. Sorry, I gotta... Scratch my neck. Ooh. Oh, okay. But yeah, you can admire some of the uh, menus here. Don't quit. <laughs> I think I'm gonna kill this guy fairly quickly. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. What am I doing? That's being cute. Oh, he's dead now. Oh, no, I thought... Are you gonna die real soon? I gotta finish him off now so I can grab his shit. There we go. Hey, an achievement. Kill a total of 10 bosses. Nice. And then what should I grab here, guys? We got movement speed. Uh, this would replace my current plated boots, though. So we might not want to do that. We may want to get a helm instead since I don't have a helmet right now. Necromancer's Clutch. Every 15 seconds you summon a skeleton to fight for you. They will perish after a set time, but their life force can be extended. Can handle... F oh man, more summons? This is, this is too good. 
Oh fuck this helmet. We're getting the we're getting the clutch. The clutch. This one's gonna come in clutch, I know it. I gotta have imps and I have skellies. And I'm gonna mistake them for enemies, probably. And get scared. Oh damn, wizard just blasted me with fireballs. Oh I recognize the skeletons. They're just they're they're brighter than the enemies. Woo! Level up. <laughs> Ring blades three, big. <laughs> um yeah, uh the next time challenge comes up, I may want to grab that. But I think ring blades, I wanna get these guys stronger. Shit, damn wizards, man. I keep the eyes eyes up with the wizards. Cause I gotta take them out as quickly as possible. If you live too many wizards unchecked, the screen will be filled with fireballs, and you'll just be like, "What hit me?" Like that. Son of a bee. Uh, it's getting a little crazy right now. I lost a fair bit of life. Um, could go for the regen. Yeah, I'll go for the regen this time. But I'm gonna go back to the damage upgrades ASAP. Because it's very easy for your damage to drop off later in the later in the run. So yeah. I could go for this one. Which actually is I mean, it just affects my main weapon. Or this is just across the board. All my stuff does more crit. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Lean into the uh, all crit goodness for all attacks. Okay, I'm just going back to pick up all the uh, orbs that I missed. That's quite a few. It's good shit. Oh shit. Okay, well there's more critical damage on my main weapon. So I can do that. I can do this one, yeah. Wizards, die! Oh, the blobs. The blobs are back. Shitty. I'll thread the needle a bit here. Oh yeah, this this game would be really good uh, in co-op, wouldn't it? No problem. I want you to send an email to the developers to request it. Personally request co-op. Oh shit! It's getting intense. Oh, what the hell is he doing? What, what is what is that guy doing shooting the green fireballs? What is, is he healing? He's healing the enemies. That's the first time I've seen that, actually. What a son of a gun. Alright, um... I need to drink some water. I think I can go for, uh, ooh, it's either phantom needles or weapon proficiency. Mm. Tell them I'll only buy the game if it has co-op. Yes, yes, let's do that. You hear that, no pro? Yeah, I think no pro has already gone to bed. <laughs> I'll email the developers then. Let's do Phantom Needles 4. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Let's find a path. Let's find a path. Of 
clunk, 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 clunk. A. Um, oh, channeling. Yeah, I said I'd get, grab this. Still here. Nice. No problem says I'll tell them no co-op means Luffy will chew all their wires. <laughs> Threats. I like it. I like it. Luffy is the heavy. You know, we sick Luffy on all the people we want to intimidate, right? Oh shit, this is not good. They make me regret not taking more damage upgrades right now. Oh, there's, a, there's the wizard boss now. I hate that guy. Oh shit! Suck it. Oh my goodness, this is getting crazy. I want to go back and grab those orbs. Can I do that? Oh shit, it's just so crazy that way. Get some fire going on, I got some health back. Oh, find a little path this way now. Fill our pockets with gems, with orbs. Point one additional attacks, like, mmm. <laughs> hard for me to visualize that. Uh, adds either projectiles or attacks, partial attacks, and projectiles are added after a certain amount of attacks. Eh. Quick hands, quick hands. Oh, swift feet, actually. Yeah, this is a time where I can start getting some movement bonuses, maybe. If there are no damage bonuses. Damage first, right? Damage first, if possible. Because you're hitting guys with a wet noodle at this stage in the, in the round, it's not good at all. Not good at all. Oh, I just got claw. Actually, I got touched, but it wasn't for that much. Okay, um. Strength 4 or weapon proficiency 3? Probably strength. It's going to boost everything. Done by direct attacks. Does. Do my abilities kind of direct attacks? They should, because. This only affects my main weapon attacks, right? So. Should. Quote me on that. Stupid hellhounds. Stupid wizard boss. Let's kill this wizard. Haha, <laughs> suck it. Oh, and this becomes crippling blades? Adds two projectiles per cycle. Additional blades can apply. Oh, let's do that. I never, I never pick crippling blades. This is like the ascended version of my ripping blades, or whatever it's called. What's it called? Ring blades. Pardon me. So yeah, the crippling blades. Let's try it out. Oh, now we're mowing down. Look at the hellhounds, they just got whooped. Because my minions. Oh yeah, these these ring blades are just kicking so much ass now. All these cheeky imps. Um yeah, ring blades four. The revenge of ring blades. Oh shit. That guy just ran ran straight into me. You gotta avoid the slime. Taking some extra damage right now, it's not good. What is this thing? That was interesting. Yeah, these these fast little dogs. 
Real pain in the ass. Oh, that guy's healing everyone. Yeah. Oh, oh, these guys are terrible. Oh no, oh no, I'm taking a lot of damage now. Oh no. One sec. Yeah, these dogs, I have to figure out the pattern. I kind of have to go in like a counter pattern to them. But the blobs, the presence of the blobs is actually making things really hard. Oh. There's a there's a health pod up here. Oh, shit. I got health back though. Alright, I guess we'll go for proficient stance. Sure. Hey, I got another vacuum. Wicked. It's just what I needed. I got eight minutes left in this run. So I'm probably going to be able to get to the boss again. Question is, will I be able to defeat the boss at my current power level? Bring Blades 5 big. Let's go big. Let's go big and go home. Oh, shit. Plus three percent damage on my main weapon. Ooh, these are both these are both good. I haven't been doing much with transfiction. Main weapon. There's a wizard that needs to get fucked down there. Oh yeah. Quick chance. Oh, this uh, that's another boss. Um, why would I get Thick High 3 over Dedication 1? Since I also get plus 50 on base health. Alright. This might be good to take in the late game here. And we'll get uh, Phantom Needle's Sharpness. Metabolism. I go for metabolism, yeah. Maybe channeling so my uh, summons stay around longer. Ooh. I kind of expect to level up a little bit more. Ooh, gold. Oh, this like a little fire ring. Oh, I'm getting so hurt right now. It's uh, it's all the fireballs. Oh, shit. oh I killed them. Good. I gotta circle back. For the boss goodies. You can see my damage isn't quite where it needs to be right now. Things are not dying fast enough. So... Oh. I get more damage the weaker I am. Or I can just get a straight up... Uh... Oh, wait a second. I don't have more room for rings. And what are these? Elven slippers. Increases block strength while moving. Builds up by move distance. Block shift is limited to 10. Movement speed buffs increase the cap. Standing still removes... To oh, okay. Interesting. This is just a very standard plus 3 defense, plus 3 block strength. And this is going to reward me freaking hurt. Do more damage. Very little damage. Whereas I'm gonna always be moving. And this will just increase my block strength to a 10, which is way more 
than the plus three. But I, I will lose the plus three defense, though. Let, let's try this. This this is interesting. Oh, I see. It goes into my bag. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Well, maybe I should have got the amulet then. To be honest. I, I just wasn't sure how that would work. I thought it would just replace the boots I'm wearing now, right? Circle back around to get my uh, XP if possible. Oh, there's some gold there. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Hard to say um, goodbye to the gold, but. Oh, sh stupid. Stupid wizard. He's like a healer. Not a wizard. Cleric, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh. Stupid, my imp is just freaking out. Do something! Attack! <laughs> oh, there we go. I leveled up again. Mm. At this point... Let's go... Let's go collateral damage. Yeah. Oh, I got an achievement for the ring blades. Very nice. Very nice. So as long as I keep moving, my my block goes up, but it's capped at plus ten. Because of the, oh wait, I'm not, I'm not wearing those slippers. Never mind. That'll be for next time when I decide to equip them. Well. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Carrot. Woo! I'm gonna grab that gem. There we go. Oh, I went to the, the thickest. Part of the crowd, what am I doing? <laughs> oh. Four minutes and 40 seconds left. All right. We got Let's, oh, I'm super fast now. Sweet. I got a shield as well. Oh, I'm no longer fast. That that was short-lived. Uh, I think I will go for some regen right now. Oh yeah, I got a bit of breathing room, just a little bit. Oh, son of a bitch! Ugh. Got some space. But now, once I get everyone on... Ah, I'm surrounded again. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'll just back up into all the uh, orbs I left behind. Oh, I hate these little dogs that curve around. Oh, yeah, let's get some more Chivos. What a relaxing game. Truly. Oh, look at all these orbs. Gobble, gobble. Ah, don't touch me. bit of a detour. Okay. 
Oh, two minutes, two and a half minutes. Ah, oh, shit, I wanted to get that pentagram, but so much shit's in my way. Oh, that's my, that's my friend. Here we go. Out of my way, blobs! Assholes. Okay, uh... Let's keep... Keep hyping up the ring blades. Why not? Grab as many of these big orb piles as possible. Sorry, gotta scratch my face. Woo! Get some water. Man, this run's taking a while, huh? I don't think I'd... Oh, the, the hellhounds are back? Sons of bitches. Oh, look at that. Look at my buddy skeleton just prance around the battlefield. Like a G. Oh, these hellhounds are tough. Very tanky. Oh, shit. I can just circle around this health pot in case I need it, I think. I'm at full health pretty much right now. Almost. Um. Okay, go for the damage. I was tempted to get the quick hands again, but uh... Yeah, just gotta do a wide circle around the uh, health potion that I, f I saw down there. Apparently a very wide circle because so many freaking blobs are in my way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god damn. Yeah, I'm taking some hits now. There's a cheese there, but it's not gonna give me health. Taking too much damage. Taking too much damage. Wait, I need a health pot. Ugh. Okay, uh... Oh, defense? Uh... Mmm... Transfection. I know, I surprised myself, even. Where that health pot go? I kinda lost track of where it was. There's so much going on right now. Oh, I think there it is. Yay! Oh, the boss. Boss is here. I think the trick is to circle him. Not to just run away in a, in a straight line. Oh, shit. Because he does that. A lot. They just go straight at you. Ugh. Yeah, he has a lot of health. Oh, did it again. I'm um, less than half. Less than half health. Look, it's the fight of Donan, son. <laughs> Is the swift feet gonna help me or? <sighs> Quick hands.
hard to get a word in edgewise with this guy. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. It's a bull. Is that a health pot? It's not a health pot. I was lied to. Well, it's the best I've done. Ugh. Yeah, that's the lowest I've gone in health, though. It's like the Butcher from Diablo. Son of a bee. Well, let's go at it again. Uh, I'm going to choose a different class, though. Uh, I have played the archer uh, a few times. Uh, I do like the archer. But uh, we also have the exterminator. Uh, he's a guy of a flamethrower. And we have the cleric. Just some magician dude. Um, it was a good one. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I'm happy. Made progress. <sighs> but yeah, I do want to be able to finish the first stage with one of these heroes. Um, what do you guys think? Cleric, uh, Exterminator, or Archer? I do, a, I do a informal, uh, informal poll, or just whoever pipes up first, and then if no one else... Fire? Lazy. Had a feeling. Look at that. He's got strapped to his back. But now is what? Yeah, so we have maxed out attack speed here as well. Now I wanted to max out damage. I don't think I'll be able to do that this round. I think the next upgrade is going to be. Yeah, yeah. It's a little out of reach. That's fine. Yeah, there's nothing I want to refund from. I want to keep the attack speed up. So it will have to be next round. Let's visit uh, Wellkeeper. No items to buy. Okay, so here, um, I didn't get a chance to keep the new shit I found. Right? Like the elven boots, the elven shoes I was wearing. I don't get to grab them. So I have to basically go back to the well in the in the in the level and stash them there, I think. Exterminator. All right, seems like we got the winner. Um, let's go big movement speed off the off the jump, and uh, you gotta go with attack speed. That that worked out pretty well last round because I'm stacking like two att attack speed bonuses right out the gate. So that's really cool. Let's go for chainmail. So pretty much got everything I can equip. Maybe I should try to, you know, get some permanent amulets and rings for next time. Exterminator. Quests. We still only have 10 out of 25 quests completed for the haunted caverns. All right, let's let's check this shiz out. A. Hey. I have created fire. All right, Tom Hanks. Strength. Stronger fire is good. Hey, Phoenix, welcome in. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you. How you doing? 
How should we do it this time? Let's go, let's make my guy a Speedy Gonzalez. I'm not quite sure how the attack speed works with like my flame, flame attacks. Like, yeah, I guess there's like a gap in between Gouts of Flames, so. Attack speed should still be fairly beneficial for this guy. Hmm. Let's go, uh, block strength. It's weak. I don't like getting the weak upgrades. Let's go metabolism. Quick hands. Let's break some boxes. Okay, got some cheese. Burning mass is probably 50 more burn effects at the same time. Thanks for thanks for coming in. We were uh, reminiscing about the uh, UFC 290 from the weekend. What a card, huh? What an event! Yeah, so the next time I pick up a special item like those elven slippers, I have to go and find the well to drop it off. That's how it works. But I'm going to go towards the um, the uh, special ability down here. Just having my morning tea. How is your, how's your day, Mac? Day was pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, it's been a fairly... Uh, Laid back week so far. Um, a real uh, refreshing lack of meetings. Uh, yesterday there was a few, but today and tomorrow, like very few meetings, which is great. Try my best to catch up on things, but yeah, overall, yeah, I don't want to talk about work. Why am I talking about work? If I were to pretend there was no work to talk about, if I could just talk about my day as a normal human being, I'd say it's not bad. Not too bad. Just getting ready still for my uh, mother-in-law to visit. We are getting um, a guy of a truck, oh, well, a professional, you know, garbage removal service. We're I booked a, an, uh, an appointment with a guy for Thursday, which is great. We've had an old IKEA couch sitting in our garage for months now. We mean to get rid of it. Go for phantom needles. We'll finally get rid of large junk from our from our garage. And I did. Sneak in a quick game of, of this near the end of my day as well. Yeah, you know, I get a little warmed up for uh, for the stream tonight. All for the good of the stream. So we did say I'd be uh, speedy, go for a speedy build this time out. Uh, I'm, I'm very fast on my feet. That is for damn sure. Spewing flames. 
Oh shit, I'm gonna slow down now. <laughs> right, yeah, the exterminator is pretty cool so far. I have unlimited fuel in my in my tank. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. Hey. Lame. Well, I guess I'll go for dedication. Get like the double bonus, right? Can't say no to that. All right. Itchy, itchy hand. Going to hunt this couch down? <laughs> no need, it's gonna get chucked in, in a couple days. Yes, I learned something. Whoever I pick, bet the opposite guy to win next time. Hey, yeah, I know. It's a, it was a night of upsets, UFC 290. The fact that I got work in two hours and you're talking about work is giving me a, a trailer before it even started. Yes, it is a little strange, isn't it? A trailer. Well, I hope your uh, your work today is as relaxing as it's been for for me the last couple of days. Boy, I do hope I get some of those uh, summons again, like I did last time. The, the imps and skeletons. That was that was really cool. Very helpful. It did get a little confusing though. It just adds to the visual noise, for sure. It's the drawback. Okay, white. Plus ten percent burn chance. Main weapon. Oh. Maybe want to lean into that. Lean into the the burn chance. I guess this is it's like a crit increases any chance to apply burn effect. Okay, okay. So there's a chance to keep a guy burning, even after you've toasted them lightly. Imps. Wow, wow. Um, yeah, sure. Phantom Needles again, I guess. Alright. Oh, there it is. I bet it would be pretty awesome to increase the range of my flamethrower. Right? But then there's also crit chance, crit hit chance. That's pretty good too. Ooh, 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 what do I choose? When in doubt, go for crit chance. That's what I say. Oh shit, this guy again. Um, I'll show you guys the astronomer's orbs since I haven't chosen that yet this stream. Now let's head back up to the hand. So we can hoover up all the XP we've earned. Oh, let's kick this guy's ass, man. Oh shit, it's the other boss. Wait, this guy's gonna drop something for me. Like an actual item I can use. Oh, burn, bitch. Oh, look, he got burnt. Oh, here we go. When hit, drop 10. Oh, okay, this this one's okay. I've used this before. Scars of toil. Oh, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So if I don't already have an amulet, I'm just going to equip this right away. But it's not that good. I'd rather just save the uh, spike boots. 
So I'll go back to the uh, well. So I have a reason to go over to the well now. So this, this is really cool. This is what I like. This is another thing I like about this over Vampire Survivor is that you have reasons to move around the map. Uh, I mean, Vampire Survivor has a similar idea too. But I think they take it a little bit further in, the, in this game. Where, um, like when I was rescuing the well keeper in the other stage, uh, you find a cell first, and then he asks, oh, you know, free me, right? And then there's a, you have to go find the key. So you walk somewhere else, grab the key, and you have to walk back. So, you know, it created like a somewhat interesting dynamic. Besides just milling around randomly in, in one area. Farming XP, right? Yeah, I like how they added that wrinkle in this game. Just little quests, you know, just little quests, reasons to move around the, the level. A. Hey. Wednesday is alright, I just gotta show up the earliest before the other colleagues because I have the keys. My boss doesn't come in until like 11. Lucky him. Well, he is the boss. Depends on what he does. You know, sometimes, you know, you don't know what... Yeah, you know, lucky him. <laughs> Definitely lucky him. Uh, let's speed up the astronomer's orbs. I was gonna say, oh, you know, who knows? You know, he may have been doing work before showing up at the at the store, but nah, probably not. He's just got to uh, hang out at home a bit longer, maybe fit in a couple more errands, sleep in even. Such are the perks of being the boss. Oh shit. I'm away! We all have all powers I haven't chosen yet. Damage. Oh! I got the hands already? There's another one. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. Good chance. Hot damn. Should we boost? Ooh. This is, yeah, I wanted to choose range and I saw the crit chance here. I gotta take that. Gotta take it. I'm still loving it like crazy. Yep. What about you, Mag? Do you get to go to work a little later than everybody else or nah? I actually have to start work earlier than than a lot of people. Uh, the reason is uh, I, I put out a report that sort of tracks our progress towards our milestones, and we have a milestone pretty much every week. So I like to uh, go in, check the dashboard, check on all the different teams, see what the ticket count is for each of the teams, and then I update the previous day's report. I basically spit out, uh, take the previous day's report, spit out a new one, adjust all the numbers, and just maybe put some guidance in there about like, yo, why do we suddenly have like 10 extra bugs today? Or, you know, oh, you know, uh, deadline is today, and uh, we have like a bunch of, you know, low priority tasks uh, on this team. Can you guys move this out to the next release or something? Are these, you know, really... Uh, necessary to to get fixed that sort of stuff right and um, it, it's helpful if that met that report goes out uh, before the core hours kick off so our core hours at the office are uh, from 10 to 4 so I like to put out the report you know 
around nine ish, right? So, I have to start a little bit earlier. Um, trying to think here. Sure, attack speed. So hoovering up the uh, the gems. So the phantom needles, I suppose. Oh, kill the wizards! Kill all wizards! Wizard, die! Okay, so... Oof. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's get Hyphenus John as orbs here. Took some damage. Oh, there's the well. Made it. Oh, you fuckers. Right, here we go. Now I get to drop this. Leave one out here and retrieve it to the surface. So I can just hit retrieve now. Yay. The wording is a little confusing. It's like retrieve means I take it and put it on myself. That's, that's my interpretation, but it means send it to the surface. What's that, uh, Phoenix? Right, you're so you're on a similar boat then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I have the keys in a sense. Keys for the team. Different kind of keys. It's more it's more about nagging them. <laughs> nagging keys. Uh, let's. Uh... Increase the uh, damage. Yes, yes. I really should increase. Oh shit, I'm getting surrounded. Really should try increasing the size of my flames and size and range. That'd be pretty cool. I think. I'm go back and grab all the XP that I left behind. Oh. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna go for the other uh, hands. I used to call it hands because that's what they are, right? Gloves, I don't know. Gloves, hands. Wow, the uh, fl the exterminator just makes short work of uh, bosses. The, the the damage that comes out of the exterminator is just really good. Yeah, the, I don't know why you would choose to use a swordsman over the uh, exterminator right now. Swordsman has like a wider cone of attack. So that's about it. Would you say you're living the dream working game dev field? When I see those behind the scene videos of dev studios, looks like a lovely environment to work. Fun. I mean, it's not bad. Like it's it's usually more of a laid back office environment. Um, but it's not. Yeah, you know, I have mixed feelings about it for sure. Where I'm at now, I don't feel. It just feels like a job. Like it's just my career right now, and um, I think it would help if I was still super passionate about the the game that I'm working on. But I'm not really. Like it's just been around for so long at this point that. Any excitement is long gone. So I'm pretty just like disconnected in, in a sense from it. Which is which is a shame. Because there are I do work with people who are super passionate about 
the game uh, beyond it, you know, being being a product that you have to support. They actually play it a lot on the free time. They're super invested, and uh, yeah, it really shows in, in their work, right, and what they contribute. And I wish I was like that. I wish I could kind of recapture that that fire again. Um, and you know, these days, you know, the the office is going through, you know, some some hardship. I would say, like, you know, team morale is not at its highest right now. Um, but overall. It's good. It's good. I get to work from home still. Even with the new change in policies there that they're implementing, I'll still be able to work remote full time. So, cannot complain too much. I can complain a little bit, but not too much. At the end of the day, it's you're still working off. It's still a very kind of corporate environment. Um, but yeah, in general, it's like more laid back. You don't have to wear a suit and tie. Most people do not take them so super seriously. Everyone's kind of got like, you know, the culture there is, is decent, right? You don't have super toxic people where I work, which is nice. True, that can happen over time, especially if you've been there for years. This is why we need to start Mac Enterprise. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds lit. You see, the moment you say Enterprise, I just think of like the Enterprise Rental, car rental company for some reason. <laughs> yes, I'll go into the car rental business from zero experience in the industry. What could go wrong? Oh, I passed. I overshot the uh, the hands. Silly me. I got distracted by all these stupid hellhounds. Damn hellhounds. Here we go. Time for you guys to suck the big one. Go metabolism. Uh, strength. Gotta get strength, baby. Boop, 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 boop. No, I keep pumping out. Let's try pump out transfiction more this time. I think the fact that you can, you have a chance of burning enemies makes up for, you know, maybe having slightly slower attack speed compared to other classes, right? Um, by a little bit, not by a whole lot. You still want to have a good attack speed, if I'm being honest. I want to try. Oh, that's not. No, let's try increasing the, the range. Oh, here we go. We got our shot of upgrading our Strana's orb now. It's nice. Stupid imps, stupid hellhounds. I just want to die. Die. Die for me. So now there's nothing, there's no objectives to, to, to walk towards. So I'm kind of like, oh, okay. Oh, we got another, we got some more hands that dropped out of the barrel. Um, yeah, multi-hit on flame attacks. That should be interesting. Let's go for it. Oh. A game rental company. Since that's rare nowadays, but everything going digital. Then again, I guess Game Pass is sort of that. So, yeah, I think Game Pass is really just... Yeah. It really is just like game rentals, except you're just a subscriber. We'll be back. Okay, Lazy. 
Hope to see you back soon. I will be streaming a little bit uh, later because I want to finish this run. And, you know, normally I'd be stopping in six minutes. So, yeah, I will be going a little later for the sake of the game. Big surprise, big surprise. Let's increase burn chance. Yeah, man, you guys hear the news about the, the court um, basically not blocking the uh, Microsoft Xbox uh, purchase of uh, Activision Blizzard. For the game! <laughs> That's right, mullet. Okay, I keep pausing, but my, my face has been kind of itchy tonight. For whatever reason. Let's fuck up this boss. Oh shit, I just ran straight into that skeleton. Look at that boss burn. Burn, bitch. Oh yeah, look at that. Achievements. It's still good, even if it's not on Xbox. 1% attack speed for 5 seconds for each kill enemy, up to 50%. Oh, with wing crown. That's the that's the shit right there, but I have to wear it. I should know I can I can ditch anything into the uh well, right? Just a good damage right Ooh. That's good too. I wanna see how the wing crown stacks up. You know? Mmm, pardon me. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening there with Microsoft and Blizzard. I heard there was a court case about it. Yeah, the, F uh, the uh, FTC? Federal Trade Commission? They are trying to block it, and so they were in court for a couple weeks. Fighting it out. And the uh, judge ruled in Microsoft's favor on this one. I have, um, I'm sort of like, I'm fairly ambivalent about the whole thing. Um, where is the well? I thought they would just point me towards the well again. But I, I guess not? And there's no map that I can bring up, so... I think you're only allowed to retrieve one item per, per run. I think that makes sense. Yeah, otherwise you just keep scooping up great items. And going back and sending them home, right? So, yeah, that makes sense. Game balance. Game balance. Capital, capital G, capital B. <laughs> um, yeah, let's keep pumping out transfiction. Yeah, you never want to have too few... Mega corporations owning everything, obviously. At the same time, though, I feel like Microsoft has just been shooting themselves in the foot too much. And if they can get a, if they can get a W for once, you know, good on them. Uh, and you know, as someone who's long been a supporter of the Xbox platform, you know, it just feel, it feels good for, you know, I, I'm hopeful that they'll be able to actually do something. They'll be able to leverage, leverage all the, uh, new studios, new IPs they have at their disposal. Um, not be too shitty with the, uh, you know, making things exclusive to Xbox only. Um, yeah, just basically behave, behave. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm everyone's saying, oh yeah, Call of Duty on Game Pass now. Call of Duty on Game Pass. I would love to see that actually, because there's old CODs that I wouldn't mind playing through. You know, just here and there. Alibug, hello! I'm late and I can't hear, but uh, but hi Mac. Wow, Ali. I request a fry with a sandal in their hands. Oh, did you do a redeem for um, Duty Doodle? Yes, you did. All right, stick around, Alibug. Uh, we'll do it at the end of the stream. How's that? But it's so good to see you. I was wondering if you're gonna show up tonight. Um, 
I was so wondering, but yeah, I'm glad you showed up. I am streaming a bit later because I want to finish this run uh, on Halls of Torment. So yeah, never fear, never fear. Uh, this is like a full slate of good upgrades. Look at this. We got hit, hit crit hit chance, <laughs> crit hit chance, crit damage. Meta I guess metabolism is the weakest one, but yeah, we got astronomer's orb. Shit, what I get? What I get? Let's let's max out the orb if we can. How's that? Max it out. Oh shit! Somebody touched me. Oh wizards, die! Wizards must die. All wizards die. Wizard vendetta. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm taking a lot of, taking unnecessary damage. Die wizard. I'm ready to level up anytime now. Come on, fill fill that bar. There we go. Every time I level up, the game pauses, I can check chat as well. Imagine me being a disappointment. Oh no! Reality is often disappointing. One sec, my uh, Twitch stream manager is frozen somewhat. Okay. Ruthlessness. Gonna have to go ruthlessness, I have to say. Mm, actually, no, let's go Transfiction 3. Dude, just go a little wild. Let's not just always go for the uh, typical crit, crit damage and crit chance. Let's kind of mix it up. Oh shit, what touched me? We're gonna circle back for the for the good stuff. Oh look at this. Down here. Oh, stupid wizards. Wizards left unchecked. Bad news. Bad news. Um Yeah, let's go Phantom Needles damage Ooh. oh the hounds the hounds of war if I just do a sweep of my oh look at that got the hands again the hands have it okay yeah strength no doubt uh, transfiction Burn bitches. Oh, this is a very this is a very uh, low key hand. I didn't really get that many gems. Oh, burn! Look at this, look at this guy burn. Yes. Show your, show yourself. What is this? Oh, it's the ring of fire. Did I kill the? I killed the wizard boss already. That's that's so fast. Yeah, exterminator is crazy, guys. Just crazy. I'm on a VC. I can't hear. Love you, Mac. What? Why can't you hear? I'm on a VC. What's a VC? Oh, watch the VOD because I love Mac. Best boy. Aw. How unfaithful. Well, well, well. If it isn't cold as bug, I'm drunk. I love Teddy. Burn, baby, burn. I can hear now. VC is voice call, I think. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Electrical orbs is the ascended version of the uh, uh, astronomer's orb. Orbs deal additional lightning damage based on their movement speed. Orbs can electrify enemies on hit based on their movement speed. Oh, wicked. That's dope. 
Just look at those orbs. Okay, go for crit chance. Let's do it. I'm almost back to full health. Well, not quite, but we're in a we're in a decent spot. We have some health regen. We got enough health regen. Yeah, the exterminator is super good. Super, super good. Well, what do you expect? I was using the swordsman, some bum with like a wet noodle, waving his wet noodle around. And then you got a guy with like, fire starter, essentially. Oh shit, I'm just like shitting gold somehow. What's going on? Wow. A moment, a brief moment of uh, peace. I just like burnt everything too quickly. Look at these hellhounds. Exterminated. All dead. Oh, we have a health pot there. Oh no, there's too many slimes. I hate slimes. I think slimes are worse than the hellhounds, to be honest. Yes. Um, oh, we haven't had a swift feet show up in quite some time. Let's go swift feet then. Okay, it's these like douchey little dogs. The worst. The worst. I'm gonna grab the pot. Oh, son of a bitch. I grabbed the pot and I immediately just lost more health than I gained. Oh, got an achievement. Destroyed a bunch of objects. Oh, I gotta concentrate here. I'm taking way too much damage. It's not good. I have to go with the flow in a way. Oh shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I bo boxed myself in, that was not good. Oh, got our achievement. Oh, I, I... it's for like walking a certain distance. Oh, mini boss. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh shit, oh shit. That's not good. The cheese does nothing. Cheese wedge is a lie. I'm gonna burn this guy down pretty quickly. Oh, sheesh. Oh, I'm not doing so well now. Did I kill him? I think I killed him. I have to circle back to grab his uh, loot. Oh, perfect. Got an opening. Whew. Now it's time for some marketing. Kick over Twitch. Stream for Kick. Kick is the future. Phoenix, have you been streaming uh, quite a bit on Kick recently? I always get arrested waving around wet noodles, says Mullet. Do tell, do tell. Hey. Scarface. Hey, oh man, thank you. Thank you so much for the resub. 17 months in a row, man. Welcome in, Scarface. How are you doing? Hold up, hold up a sec. 
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? I'm so sorry. I thought I had you on my uh, stream deck. This one that stand. Hey, there we go. Please take take the shout out. Counter Strike Two, very nice. Ever heard the saying, if we start out early, we would have gotten big today. The big streamers were in the right place, right time. That's me on kick. Life has given me a second chance. Hey, are you the exact same name on kick? I'm Ed Phoenix. If so, I'm going to look you up right after the stream is done and make sure I'm following. Okay, let's get the copper ring. Actually, no, screw that. Let's go base. Plus 10 base attack damage. Let's, let's do that. I need some health. Let's just not go towards the big mob enemies and just try to uh, survive. I thought I saw some health over there. That's why I went that way. So far, I'm not too impressed with the orbs, the lightning orbs or whatever. Let's go transfiction. Oh, so we're gonna find some health. No health? Send the bitches. Duh. Too many enemies this way. I only have six and a half minutes left, but I think it's gonna be a very long six and a half minutes. Very long indeed. Yeah, I'm finding my quiet moments and it's buying myself time to regenerate some health. But my health regen is not super fast. I didn't really invest in a lot of health regen. I was going for more damage and attack speed, stuff like that. Shit. Okay, just trying to thread the needle here. Less stupid wizards. Avoid the blobs all possible. Oh, I got the hand, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just, just what I needed. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to go for more regen right now. Um, nope, different name. I'll DM it to you. Yeah, we'll change it to that here. So, okay, nice. Yeah, please DM me, Phoenix, so I can follow you. I'm kick. Yeah, I keep thinking about maybe splitting some time between uh, Twitch and Kick for streaming, but it's just... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I've done that before where I've done like YouTube streams on one night and then Twitch streams on two other nights. I don't want to increase the amount of streams I do per week. I just don't have the time for that right now. But it would be nice to, to go back to Kick and, and do a bit more because I only did one stream. One one hour stream, which is nothing, right? Uh, I think I'll go for more damage. Yeah. Damage is very important right now because I need to stay alive. Oh, Shadow's Orbs 5 for speed. Let's try that. It's the game is slowing down because I'm getting so many orbs sucked up. More piercing, or uh, let's just go qu quick hands, I guess. Um, Ten percent movement speed. That's that's good. I'm very fast now. Let's 
Super fiery on the on the phantom needles. Move away from the mob. Kill the kill the uh, wizards though. Fuck those guys. So many wizards up there. Fuck you. Oh shit. They're closing in on me. Just cut a hole through the mob here. Do I got four minutes and 45 seconds to go? That's too much. I feel like if I can get to the boss and be at a decent amount of health, I might be able to take him out with the exterminator. I kind of played sloppy for the last few minutes. That's why I'm in such a bad, bad state of affairs with my health level right now. Oh shit, that almost hit me. Good thing you have the movement speed though. Oh shit, another? Another hand? How many hand power-ups have I picked up this round? Like four or five? That's crazy. Hey Funkanny, how you doing? Welcome in. Mullet says I'm gonna head off to bed. One sec here. Missed your message. Head bed. Thank you for the stream, Mac. Good luck for the rest of the run. Thank you so much, Mullet. Have yourself a wonderful night. I do appreciate you. Take care. <laughs> uh, how are we doing for time? 11.16. Okay, I'm near the end of the run, so yeah. We're getting there. And and Aliba, you're gonna have to remind me what you requested for your um duty doodle, because I've completely forgotten now. Brain worms and all that, right? Shit, I took a fireball to the face. Oh no! The super imps are back. Wow, I'm getting a lot of achievements this round. Oh shit, got the help. Oh nice, I managed to I managed to deke all the enemies there. Well, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? The health didn't actually give me that much. Oh, I have like super, super speed now. I have a shield as well. Sorry guys, my nose is itchy. Lizzy says she requested two butts kissing. Two hot dogs. Heard this was an X-rated stream. AOA Coop. Not tonight. X-rated stream was a few weeks ago. You may have heard about it. This tonight is fairly PG-13, I would say. Oh shit! Except for the occasional swearing, because this game has no chill. Yeah, it's pretty, uh... I didn't really think about that last upgrade. I'm sure it's fine. Something's better than nothing, right? How you doing, Coop? Have you heard about Halls of Torment? Let's go this way. I'm trying to avoid all the green slimes. The green slimes are terrible. Follow me, stupid dog. I need to give me a moment before I can read your answer, Coop. <laughs> Things are a little bit intense right now. Oh, I'm back to full health, though. That's good news. So we are pretty much two more minutes and we're ready to fight the boss. Good shit. Oh, they're sending the Hellhounds back. Okay, they gave me two health potions just now and I didn't even need the health potions there. That's fine, that's fine. 
you know, timing and all that. Okay, let's go this way. So I have to carve a carve a doorway for myself there. Oh yeah, I will pause actually because I gotta scratch my hand. If there is Mac on stream, it's X-rated because he is making me act up. <laughs> hey, Wolf. Well, don't forget that he is an oily Asian. He is prelude, <laughs> pretty wild stuff. Hey man, on Derek's stream, I requested an oiled Asian wrestler, but there's no oil. You know, what the hell, man? I should get a refund. From there. Because we got the Asian. Asian enough, I think, on, on my wrestler. AEW. Oh, shit, I stepped in the pool of shit. But yeah, a distinct lack of oil. Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Oh, wizards die. Wizards must die with extreme prejudice. Son of a bitch. Yeah, there's too many wizards now. They're all shooting. They're all shooting fireballs at me. Fuck you, Fuck you wizards. Just... Oh. Okay, let's go up. Die, wizards. Die, bitch. Yes. Yeah, honestly a little fatigue you know I, I am looking forward to the boss because it's just like a one-on-one -on -one fight once once we get there hey another achievement they're trying to distract me of their petty achievements hey he's here oh yeah I'm gonna pause for a sec Woo. Rizzler wolf Rizzler wolfie did you all give Derek a set of instructions on how y'all want your characters to look like? Yeah, pretty much. Either on Discord or on, on uh, during the live stream. Phoenix. Yeah, Derek did a really good job. Let's be honest. He did a great job with uh, the Creative Wrestlers. I missed the one, uh, missed the makeup stream we did on Saturday, but I'm sure it turned out great. All I said was I want it to sort of look like me so I can kick ass. Yeah. I asked for uh, Asian. Very Asian, very oily. Very oiled, I mean. Oh shit. I, I'm invincible now. Fuck you. Make sure he gets all the uh, fire. Oh, okay, I'm no longer. That was such a short. As long as he keeps circling, yeah, you can avoid. It's when he does his little bullet hell attack that it's not not working so great. Yeah, you just kind of circle him. I'm trying to go back to where there's. Oh shit, oh, shit, he... Oh shit, he's running into me too often. Oh no. Well, I did the best that I've ever done, but yeah, I think I just need to learn his pattern a bit better. But yeah, that sucks. What really sucks is that the last three times I fought him, the area is just clear of orbs and the items. It'd be great if I was closer to some orbs so I can level up a bit as I'm fighting him, but then it's just like clear. So it's like, ah. 
Oh, well, that was, that was pretty good, though. I got the character level 49 and learned that the exterminator is awesome. And I'm actually going to go and just do an upgrade at the uh, Shrine of Blessing here. So I'm going to max out the damage. So keep maxing out, you know, keep um, pumping these things up. Oh, we can do fire damage next, right? Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to do Exterminator again, so I think I'm just going to go hard into fire damage next. There we go. So, yeah, eventually I'll just get strong enough where I will be able to beat the boss. Combined with, like, better knowledge of his attack patterns, and then I should, I should be able to get that done. Hopefully next time. You can buy new items from the Walt Well Keeper once you receive it for the well. Okay, so those boots. Hey, look, look, what the hell? Where did I get those boots that, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, I see. You send them back to the base, but you still have to buy them. So, yeah, see, these are the spike boots I picked up on the last run. But if I want to keep them for good, I have to buy it off, buy it off the guy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's get back to the fire where it's warm. Alrighty. Let's get back to chit chat for a bit here. You guys have been keeping chat nice and active. Uh, I'm not giving it a try to catch up here. Maybe just a little bit. My wrestler is gonna fuck shit up, says Coop. <laughs> I don't think I saw your wrestler, Coop. I'll have to uh, check Derek's Discord to see how he turned out. Kenny's on steroids. Kenny is f freakishly huge and ripped in AEW. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kenny is Kenny's uh, the the ch the Chad for sure. Local steroids. He already made forgot made, forgot about me. Gosh, I'm thirsty tonight. Thirsty. So, uh, Alibug, you wanted to see uh, two hot dogs kissing. Was was that the request? Canyon wrestlers and warboard <laughs> rage, bro. I'm buff. Make sure you're wearing a diaper when you see my dude. You'll be sure to shit yourself. Okay. I'll, I'll pick up some Depends this week from Costco. How's that? He did... No, it was a fry with a sandal. Okay, okay. Oh, Jesus. A fry with a sandal? Just a sandal, right? Because the fry doesn't have two feet. Well, the fry doesn't have feet, period. Uh, fries don't have feet, right? Okay, okay. Well, your wish is my command. A fry of a sandal. What kind of fry? I guess, that's a, yeah, that's a good question. Is Please, uh, just a standard fry, right? Uh, let's just say that. Let's not get too crazy on me. I want the fry to hold the sandal. Fry from Futurama had feet. Like he's gonna, like he's gonna smack you. French fry. Okay, French fry holding the sandal. Like that emotional damage guy. The guy is more of a slipper for that guy, but okay, okay. And enough stalling, right? Enough stalling. A fry holding a sandal. Jeez Louise. It's a very thick cut fry.
Hot sack. Like. No. Mm -hmm. Bear with me, bear with me. Why does eyes go a little crazy? So I'm trying to do some quasi 3D here. Not 3D, but you know, just gonna put some depth into into this here business. No, no, no. I had a fry tonight, it was my inspiration. <laughs> you know, life, life is our inspiration, isn't it? Where else are you gonna be inspired but by our, our own life, right? Let's go, french fries are like last choice fries. I right, guess part one. Got the fry. He's got some eyes. Need to sort of humanize this guy a little bit, right? And now, <laughs> the arms too too long. Ah. Sandals hard, man. Sandals fucked up. Sandals fucked up. Uh, we're gonna have to show the sandal from like the top view. So there's like a strap. Oh my god. Go. <laughs> Here's a strap. And then, uh... <laughs> I'm tempted to do like the sassy pose again with the other arm, but yeah, no, this is just like some, oh, I'm trying to draw some like movement lines I'm failing. Uh, and, uh, I think he's pissed, right? He's pissed. He's waving the sandal. He's not happy. So it's a real threat. He's going to throw the sandal at you. And this is where I add some, like, He's, he's pissed. That's why. <laughs> That's why he's, he's also flipping the bird. Hey, this is why I think about you. He's, he's, he's mad about something. You don't know what it is, but you know, you can just. There we go. Mac, that don't look right. <laughs> you, you, you think <laughs> this is uh this is not my finest hour this is uh he's 
fist. His angry eyebrows. Oh shit. There we go. Let's live it like that. They're not gonna draw a mouth on this fry. I like this fru. <laughs> so there you have it. I'm not exactly. I'm not super happy with this one, but this was a challenge. You, you gave me a hard one this time, Alley Bug. So I'll save this out and I will post it to Discord. But there you have it. Le Fry. I'm glad you like it, Alley Bug. You're just being nice, I think. That that I don't I don't think it was that that great. But as long as the customer is pleased, who am I to uh, complain? Who am I? Who am I? Um, let's raid somebody. Let's find, uh, let's find ourselves a victim. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, hanging out for the for the whole stream or you know for coming in at all points during the stream as well um sadger sadger's always on sadger's the man pasha the goat is playing diablo 4. yeah i don't really feel like um taking a stab at somebody brand new tonight we we'll just go Go with somebody who we know. Pasha the Goat. Pasha the Goat, pardon me. Uh, Diablo 4. Game that we all know and love. A game that I still have on the mind, on the brain, quite a bit. So we'll see how uh, she is doing with her Diablo 4 adventure. After being late, she better be happy with it. Nah, it's not like that. Not like that, lazy. You am very happy with it. I'm glad to hear it. Um, yeah, Patch the Goat. Uh, she's a VTuber. So she has one of the best um, VTuber avatars I've seen on Twitch. Bar none. Uh, but she's also a great streamer, great personality, um, really interactive chat, plays a lot of cool games on her channel. So um, let us raid Pasha tonight. Um, one more big thank you to everyone. Uh, I will be back on Thursday night. So Thursday and Friday this week, I'll be back on Dark Souls. Um, Yes, Dark Souls. I'm sticking with Dark Souls. But I would like to come back to uh, Halls of Torment again at some point. It's a really good game. Don't worry, Mac. I'll be rude for you. Hey, lady. You don't need to do that. So, uh, in terms of raid greetings, how does it, how's it go? Oh, that's the wrong one. Is this one? Or, or you can do this one. Yeah, mac and cheese raid or mac attack raid. Use whatever you wish. And uh, please give uh, give it uh, a few seconds for the raid to load, to queue up. And I'll see you all over there. Thank you so much once again. Have a good, have a great week. See you guys on th uh, Thursday or Friday, hopefully. Um, but uh, yeah, take care. Bye.